A few days ago, we visited the Florida Strawberry Festival. This 11-day community event is being put on from March 3rd through March 13th, 2022, and is a yearly event. It's located in Plant City, Florida, which is just a quick 17-minute drive east of I-75 near Tampa. Most people think of Florida as oranges or tomato growers, but we also produce a lot of strawberries. We are second in the country behind California of the production of strawberries. Now California can grow them all year round where Florida can only grow them seasonally. This is the season. The harvest season is in March. To celebrate the bountiful harvest, they started the Strawberry Festival back in 1930. It had a six-year hiatus during World War II, but it has been going on ever since. And it's considered one of the top 40 fairs in North America. The kids come for the rides, but let's, let's be honest, adults, we come for the food. And we'll show you the, some of the food here in a minute, but I did want to talk about the entertainment that the Strawberry Festival has. It has some top-notch entertainment. This year, for 2022, they have the Oak Ridge Boys, the Beach Boys, Boys to Men, Lauren Daigle, Sammy Hagar in the Circle, John Anderson and Kenzie Wheeler, Ricky Nelson, remembered by Matthew and Gunnar Nelson, Lee Greenwood, Jake Owen, The Letterman, Tesla, Bobby Bones and the Raging Idiots, Nelly, the Bellamy Brothers, and who we came for personally tonight, Zach Williams. There is so much food here at the Strawberry Festival, we can't possibly show you all, but we're going to show you some of our favorites and some new things we tried this year. First off is what I get every year. It's one of my personal favorites, and now my son really loves them too. They're the Gator Bites. We get them here from the Seafood Cabana. They now have two food trucks on site, and it's a husband and wife team. They're really nice. They were featured on Carnival Eats, if you've ever seen it on TV and their gator bites are flavored perfectly like you don't have to add anything to them you can eat them my son says they taste like fried chicken but i just personally love these gator bites and this year we got the comforters which were equally as good we tried something new this year from the grub and go which we found out it was just a husband and wife team right here out of plant city which we love supporting local so that was good. We were trying to find strawberry dishes and this one, the pork chop sandwich had a strawberry bacon jam topped with a fried green tomato and they had a special sauce which was like a horseradish aioli is what they said. It didn't taste spicy at all. It was so good. This was honestly one of the best things we ate that day. My husband really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. The pork chop was cooked to perfection. It wasn't chewy. It was super moist. This is honestly, I hope they're there next year because I want another one. Next up is Peachy's Baking Company. They have a bunch of food trucks on site. They're actually from Sarasota and they go around to events like this and they can make their donuts and pretzels and oh my gosh, they're so good. This The size of this donut was like the size of my son, my young son's head. It was huge. It was warm. Definitely a must. It's super good. Highly recommend it. What is it? Deep fried Oreos. Then you put some white chocolate. I'm just gonna try a bite. No, you can have the whole thing. Mm. Have that whole thing, okay? Mm. What's in it? Oreo. Oreo, oh, because you don't like Oreos. Though. Oh my goodness, that is so good. <laughs> can, I, can I try? Next from Brandon Farms, strawberry pizza. It was nice and cool. It was so yummy. And of course, you can't go wrong with chocolate covered cheesecake and a chocolate covered banana. Next on our strawberry adventure, we got the brisket berry taco. It came with beef brisket, strawberry pico, queso, cabbage, chipotle, sour cream. It was good. I love the freshness of the cilantro in it. It could have been a little warmer, but maybe it's just, I'm sure they have to keep it cool because of the strawberries and everything, but it was good. It was a good strawberry adventure.
let me just tell you, for $25 a ticket, Zach Williams put on an amazing show, an hour and a half long show with all his best songs. It was truly amazing. Something we learned when we were ordering tickets, make sure you go on the Strawberry Festival's official website to buy them because they were already posting scammer websites that were trying to sell tickets for like $160, $200. There was $25. There was plenty of tickets. You could easily get them on their website. Maybe not the first day, but try back again the next day when the website isn't so busy being flooded with purchases. But it was honestly worth the $25. Zach Williams did a great job. His band was awesome. It was just a great performance all the way around. Last but not least, you can't leave the Strawberry Festival without getting a strawberry shortcake. We did the Make Your Own Strawberry Shortcake inside the Pioneer Village just outside the Wish Farm soundstage where we just watched the concert. Thank you so much for watching our adventure at the Florida Strawberry Festival 2022. Don't forget to hit the like button and follow or subscribe to us. Until next time, adventures are out there. Are you? Have a blessed day. Thank you. Bye.